Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and say we're looking at GWX Control Panel which stands for Git Windows 10 Control Panel. The file we have is actually pretty easy to use. You just download it, double click it, it fires up and as you can see it's going to look at everything. Is the icon app running? Is it enabled? Are they allowed? So on and so forth. Are there any hidden Windows 10 download folders you didn't know about? files that Microsoft download your computer and you don't know they're there. You can actually get strictly at these folders right here and you can also come down here to manage any of those settings as well. So you can prevent Windows 10 upgrades. This essentially is if nothing else works. So if you click to enable the Windows 10 app, this is what you're looking to do right now. As you can see there it is, it popped right back up. But if you've decided you wanted to disable it yet somehow you're finding it in weird places for example it's a good chance take a quick look here nope sometimes you'll have right here more information about the Windows 10 let's say it popped up there anywhere it can show up this program is gonna wipe it out so this is great for techs who have maybe an office where they forced to run Windows 7 I've got a couple of those where they literally can't run Windows 10 because their main applications right now do not support it. So I had a customer recently, I gave them a new computer. I actually had to find them a Windows 7 computer just so that they could do their daily business. So something like this would be nice for monitor mode. You could leave that on a customer's machine. And as you can see, it'll monitor and keep an eye out for anything that might come back. And it, once again, easy to enable and disable. You can change your Windows Update settings. That will take you right where I showed you a minute ago to your control panel, Windows Update. And of course, once again, any non-critical Windows 10 settings that might show up. I think that might bring me to what I just mentioned to you. Uh, Windows Update, there it is. See, now, if you had that here, that's how it ended up showing up because who knows where it could show up. So now that that is disabled, it's gone so pretty easy to use covers a lot of different areas that other apps don't with the folders the files the small places that might come back without even knowing it let's see here did I get everything covered user guide goes to his website did I cover that probably uh, finally if for whatever reason you need a log file you can just right click up here in the bar save the diagnostic info and you can open it up, see what's running. Handy if somebody's helping you disable it and you're, for example, it keeps popping up and you can't get rid of it. It has all the information. The Git GWX EXE was found. Additional 32-bit version found. No hidden download folders found, etc., etc. So there you go. Pretty intense. If you've downloaded a program like Never10 that we just did a video on the other day, that does a real nice job of simply enabling and disabling it. But if you had some problems, it's not working. It's still popping up on you. GWX control panel is probably what you need to manage it. So there you go. As always, this one is completely free, updated fairly regularly. The download link is in the description. Take a second to click uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.